I think it's different for everyone, but yeah, I think on the, the whole part, uh, first two or three years of my career, I was, I was kind of just getting to grips with the cricket side of things. Um, I feel like now I'm a little bit more established in the game, and I think that the time's come to where I potentially could look to build a, a career during or after, or just smooth the transition really between cricket and the next thing in life. A lot of the time when cricket's going well, you, you kind of overlook a lot of other things in life, um, but I've had a reasonably tough year with injury this year. It didn't go how I personally wanted it to, and uh, Lindsay's been there to help, and she suggested things along the way. So stuff like this uh, has cropped up, and I think it would be, it'd be slightly naive of me not to take it. I'm interested in property, and I'd like to potentially get into that in the, uh, in the future, or the, the nearer future really. Um, but also I've got keen interest in like health and fitness, so I've done a nutrition diploma recently. Um, nothing major but just a little something to kind of kick start the process. Um, I know a lot of the time just taking action is the hardest part. Um, so yeah, as I've started the ball rolling really and I'm just looking to continue that with stuff like this. Having lots of strings to your bow and having lots of parts to your puzzle almost brings and more like togetherness inside you and more fulfillment than potentially one aspect. I think at times it's, you can overlook and it's quite easy just to say, oh no, I'm all right. And a lot of people do, I have in the past, but I think that until you actually do something like this, you don't really uh, entertain the value of it. Um, and I think I've taken a lot from it.